everyone, welcome back to another episode of Summertime. It's me, Summer here, and today I'm joined with a very special guest, my mom, June Ambrose. Hi. <laughs> today we'll be doing a Q&A, so I asked you guys on my Instagram and her Instagram to ask us some questions, and then we have some other questions from our producer of this show. So, let's get started. Let's get it. This question has been heavily asked, they asked me about my hair care routine. So I honestly don't do much to my hair. I use, <laughs> okay. I use um, Kerastat products. I'm probably gonna do a hair care routine just because so many of you guys have been asking about it. So stay tuned for that video. So comment down below if you want me to do that actually. Someone said, are all of your mom's hats custom? If you guys don't know, like us from Instagram, my mom wears hats every day. I feel today so for naked. Some reason. I need my hats back. I don't even feel fit. But they want to know if they're all custom. No, they're not all custom. Some of them are, though. Um, Summer, do you straighten your hair often? Mm -mm. No, because heat damage is... No. She strains it like when you're going to get a trim. Yeah, yeah, but not like every day, every week. I don't do that. I like to keep my natural curls because mm -hmm. I want them to be healthy. Mm -hmm. What are our favorite colors? Oh, I love hot pink, lavender, yellow. I like color. Mm -hmm. I keep looking at the viewfinder, guys. I'm crazy. Okay, <laughs> so I have a lot of favorite colors, but when people ask me and it's just a quick answer, I say red, but I really like pastels and like mm -hmm. violet colors, so like lavender too, mm -hmm. but like a nice baby pink and a nice baby purple and blue are some of my favorites. So definitely pastels, but if I'm just trying to be quick with it, it's red. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said, how did you balance your career when you became a mom? Oh, I thought that When we were like under five years old. Like when we were really um, Not for, that question was not for me. Oh that was like, for you. What? A child. No, I, um, my kids were, Summer and Chance were with me everywhere. Yeah. So that part was really, um, that made it a lot easier. I have a career that fortunately they can be on location on set, they can be behind the scenes, so they were with me a lot and um, and I had my mom around to help and we had other help too, so it was good. Yeah. How often do we shop or buy new clothes? That's an odd question. Oh God, um, every season. <laughs> before quarantine? Yeah, before the pandemic, before the the because Great Depression? I haven't shopped in a really long time. Oh, girl, please. Like, for clothes? I haven't shopped in a while. I don't online shop like that. We, every season, we're, you know, we're wanting to have something new from the season. Yeah. So, yeah. But definitely, like, my biggest time to buy new clothes every year, like, for school, before the school year starts, because we get rid of clothes in August. And then we re either we donate, sell, refresh. Yeah. So my biggest shop is probably end of August, beginning of September for mm -hmm. the new school year. So someone said, Summer, what career path do you plan on taking when you graduate from high school? So if you guys didn't know, I'm a sophomore in high school. Um, I'm in 10th grade and I'm 15 years old. I'll be 16 in about a month. And my career path, honestly, nothing's really set in stone for me right now, but I'm definitely looking into culinary. If you guys know me, I've been cooking since I was like maybe five years old. Mm -hmm. I was really young when I got into culinary and I've been going to schools. I went to a French culinary so school in New York. I went to ICC. I've been to Sir La Table. I've been to a lot of culinary schools because I really found um, interest in them and I was really passionate. I grew up watching my mom cook in the kitchen and just food network and I have a really big family who's always cooking. So I definitely took that and that became my inspiration. So I'm looking into culinary. Um, I'm also looking into law, which is just like so off of like everything, but I really like the idea of law. People always say having I a law be degree is not such a bad thing. I argue a lot. I make really strong points. People say so. I'm a very feisty child. <laughs> I also started my own business when I was really young. I don't know how old I was, but I've been. I have had a website for a long yeah, time. You've been selling stuff yeah. since you were I've been, six. I did slime, brownies, cupcakes. Yeah. I have my bakery right now. And honestly, it's really good. Last thing I'm probably looking into is either entrepreneurship or cosmetology, just because. Cosmetology. Yeah, like cosmetics. Is that what cosmetology is? Uh, no. You don't have to go into cosmetology to do cosmetics, but okay, you're, well, you're working on that quietly. Okay, 
<laughs> what is it like to work with your mom on so many projects? Um, huh. I think it's fun, honestly. I like working with my mom. I mean, I do stuff with her on weekends, if I have time after school. Um, mainly during the summer, summer though. Yeah. yeah. I think it's really fun. Yeah, on my like, like breaks if we're not traveling. Mm -hmm. I think it's fun. I think it's a cool new experience that I get to have. This summer, I got the opportunity to work with my mom for the VMAs. Mm -hmm. Missy Elliott. Um, working with Missy Elliott and um, doing Essence Fest. Oh, yeah, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, I enjoy those type of projects where I just get to like assist and like really be involved in fashion and like have like a one to one connection with it because honestly, growing up, I wasn't really the most fashionable person. Uh, I would uh, 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 uh. no That's no no when I when On you started letting me dress myself. Oh yeah well. when my mom used to dress me I used to think that I was the flyest little kid <laughs> walking around fashion week. I was you just, were you were so chic. I thought I was so cool. You're and chic. then you I cool. figured out when I had freedom to wear my own clothes, I found myself in sweatpants every day, a hoodie. I was just the most chilled, laid back kid. You could not see me in jeans or leggings. And when I started high school, I was like, oh, jeans aren't that bad. I started wearing leggings. So I really started to find my own way into fashion. So yeah. They said, growing up, where did you get your style influence? For me, obviously, it was my mom. But for you, talk to us a little bit about that. Um, where did I get my style and influence? Yeah. Um, from you. No, <laughs> I wasn't even a thought. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I've always uh, loved playing with clothes and had a very stylish uh, grandma. Uh, step grandma and um, yeah I, I think that I was always influenced by movies and always influenced by Japanese animation and um, but definitely like Hollywood glamour and you know things that seemed really super unobtainable I was always influenced by stuff like that and I love the idea of costume design and fairy tale kind of dramatic pieces Jean-Paul Gaultier was one of my favorite designers growing up um, yeah Someone said, what are three things you can't live without in your closet or wardrobe? Ooh, you wanna go first? Yeah, you go first. Okay, so I can't live without my glasses because without them, I really don't see well. I mean, I can see, but I can't see well. My glasses, my earrings, because I don't like to have naked ears, <laughs> and my shoes, because as we know, I'm a shoe fanatic. I'm a sneakerhead, guys. These are my favorite shoes right now, my Melanie Shawnees. I can't live without my shoes. I love them. I uh, can't live without my hats. Um, I can't live without um, my eyewear. I love I love glamouflaging, and I love I, I need a blazer. I can't live without like a really good. I, I just I could have like twenty blazers in my closet and be so happy. So now we're gonna move on to some other questions, other not from Instagram. What do you enjoy doing in your spare time besides work? Oh, cooking. I love cooking. I would also say- Movies. Yeah. My, yeah, family movie time is fun. I would also say cooking and obviously YouTube. I love this. I just got into it, but hopefully I'm gonna start doing like more vlogs because I'm in quarantine and I don't really want to do all cooking videos on this channel, so I want to move more into other videos. So comment down below other ideas you guys want me to work on. What advice would you give your younger self? Um, what advice would I give my younger self? Oh, to pace yourself, you know, don't feel like you have to get everything done at one time. Um, you just get, it's just exhausting and it wears and tears on you emotionally and physically. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty young. So pace yourself. <laughs> I'm pretty young. I would. I, I don't really know what I would tell my younger self. If anything, I would just say like, be persistent and keep doing mm -hmm. what you're doing because I feel like if I didn't have such a strong support group being my family and you guys being people who support me as I was coming up into like what I'm doing now, which is YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff, I probably wouldn't have been where I am now because I definitely felt that I had a lot of setbacks and not because of anything everyone else was doing around me, but because I didn't really think I could do it. So I would definitely just stay, say to stay persistent and like not give up because mm -hmm. honestly, I don't really know where I would be right now if I didn't like start branching out and doing things on my own. So mm -hmm. I'm super grateful for you guys and everyone who's helped me. Mm -hmm. If quarantine did yeah, not exist, what would you be doing right now? I'd be in school guys. Unfortunately. No, not unfortunately. I love She'd school. She'd be getting ready for her birthday. Oh my god! Yes! My sweet 16 is coming up. Unfortunately, I will not be able to celebrate it in the big 
fancy way I wanted to because of COVID-19. But at least I'm with my friend and family. Well, I'm with my family at least. And Zoom calls and I'm safe and healthy. So yeah, I didn't bring my sweet 16. What would you be doing? Um, stressing out getting you ready for your sweet 16. <laughs> I would. I'd be traveling, yeah, for sure. How do you express self-love? I express self-love by taking time to pamper myself, um, you know, whether it's, you know, doing my makeup or, you know, giving, being, you know, forgiving myself for mistakes I may have made or, you know, not being so hard on myself about things that I couldn't finish or yeah. didn't get accomplished. Um, you know, I think that's super important. Um, for me, I would say I meditate a lot. Not a lot, but I do yoga. I do stress relieving things because I don't really get stressed like a lot of other people. But she I have like triggered. yeah, I get triggered. <laughs> I have my moments though because a lot of people know this. I have anxiety, so I definitely take time to like do certain things. Like I count down from ten and I just relax and take in deep breaths and just think about everything. So if I find myself getting anxious and I just need to like reset and just feel good about myself and what I'm doing in the moment, mm -hmm. I would just say meditate. And if we're talking about like pampering ourselves, my nails, my nails look really naked right now, guys. I know, we're so used to going and getting like cool happening. nails done. Oh, I just ordered a poly gel kit. Maybe I'll make a YouTube video about me doing my nails for the first time. Oh Let's see God. how that goes. Yeah. What do you see yourself in 25 years? Oh, 25 years. How old will I be in 25 years? 16 plus 25. I'll be like 41. Oh my God. 41 years old? Oh, that's so hard. Okay, well, if I continue on the path that I want, which is culinary, oh my God, I'll be almost 75. I, I would definitely hope that I'm owning my own restaurant, if I'm being honest. Um, but if I go on the entrepreneur route, I'm, I might do different things, guys. We don't know. Um, but if I, it's either be owning my own restaurant, um, owning my own business, just honestly continuing what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. If we're talking about like work-wise, yeah. Where would you see yourself? I want to be on a yacht in Sardinia, just relax. What's Sardinia? Yeah, South France, somewhere, oh. Italy, Sardinia. Just chilling. Mm -hmm. I hope this gave you guys a chance to get to know us, myself, and my mom. Because I know a lot of you guys are asking some questions. A lot of you guys do know us from Instagram, but if you don't, then you guys got to know us. If you know us from YouTube or anywhere else. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching thank this you. video. Thank you for joining me and doing this Q&A. I appreciate Bye. it. Love you, Summer. <laughs> love you, too. Bye. And I love you guys, and thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn your bell notifications on so you never miss when I post. And comment down below more video ideas you guys want me to do. And bye. Be safe in quarantine, guys. <laughs>